This presentation is about American author Charlotte Perkins Gilman, who lived from 1860 to 1935. Charlotte Perkins Gilman was born Charlotte Perkins in Hartford, Connecticut, to an upper middle class family, but her father abandoned her mother and siblings shortly after her birth, leading them to struggle in poverty and emotional abandonment. Perkins received very little formal education as a result, but she was an avid reader of history and literature and was naturally inclined toward art. Charlotte Perkins studied at Rhode Island School of Design in Providence, Rhode Island, and began working as a designer of advertising cards for businesses and as a children's tutor. At this time, 1880, she published her first poem. Three years later, she published a short article in the Providence Journal. In 1884, Charlotte Perkins's marriage to a fellow artist named Stetson, Charles Stetson was a failure from the beginning. She rejected the traditional socially accepted role for married women uh, during the 19th century. She refused to submit to a life devoted completely to the duties of housekeeping, child rearing, and obedience to one's husband by focusing on painting and writing poems, essays, and short stories. Although she chose to call herself a humanist rather than a feminist, Charlotte Perkins Stetson's feminist leaning became apparent during her first year of her marriage when she published her second poem, called In Duty Bound, which reveals her rejection of the 19th century institution of marriage and the restrictions it placed on women. Oppressed by her unhappy marriage, Charlotte Perkins Stetson suffered from depression and thus was taken to the popular neurologist Dr. Silas Weir Mitchell, who was known for his now infamous rest cure for nervous disorders. This so-called cure was clearly based on a 19th century stereotype of women being emotionally unstable and incapable of handling intellectual stimulation. The cure was only imposed on, on women, and it isolated them socially, prescribed rest and tranquilizers, and forbade engagement in any form of intellectual stimulation, such as art, reading, and writing, all of which we know today provide a healthy outlet for the, the depressed. Charlotte Perkins Stetson rejected Dr. Weir Mitchell's treatment in 1888 by leaving her domineering husband and moving to California. She got a divorce and helped support herself by running a boarding house and began speaking out publicly on social issues, including the equal treatment of women. A few years later, she wrote The Yellow Wallpaper as a satirical criticism of Dr. Weir Mitchell's rescuer treatment. In 1900, Charlotte Perkins became Charlotte Perkins Gilman when she remarried to George Gilman, who was supportive of her social and political views. This marriage was much happier than her first, and once married, Charlotte Perkins Gilman continued on her crusade for women's rights by writing for several feminist publications and lecturing on the repression of women and against limiting women's roles to domestic chores, church, and child rearing. She also lectured on the topics of poverty, health care, civil justice, and labor rights. Charlotte Perkins Gilman published over a thousand articles in addition to short stories, novels, and hundreds of poems. Her most influential work was Women and Economics, which shows how male dominance was reinforced by the 19th century economic system. Today, Gilman is known as one of the most influential feminists in the early women's movement.